of two saints. One is St. Hedwig and one is St. Margaret Mary Alacoc. I'm going to choose to use the prayers for Margaret Mary, who was a visitation sister and had a special devotion to the Sacred Heart. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the Sacred Mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour out on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you so remarkably endowed St. Margaret Mary, so that we may come to know that love of Christ which surpasses all understanding and be utterly filled with your fullness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, adultery, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selflessness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I have warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. 
Bless the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow the Lord have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow the Lord will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow the Lord will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Both Paul's address to the Galatians and Jesus to the Pharisees are statements and teachings about the kingdom of God. And in the first reading from Paul to the Galatians, we see that um, you are, if you're going to be guided by the Spirit, you are also going to follow the law. But he also acknowledges that there are going to be sins of the flesh that are going to deter you from God's kingdom. On the, on the opposite way, he says to them, if you're going to live in the Spirit, these are the fruits of the Holy Spirit that you should possess, and the kingdom of God will then be rewarded to you. Jesus is challenging these Pharisees in this gospel passage because they are ones who follow the Judaic law very strictly, and they impose that law upon other peoples. But when it comes to living the law and putting it into practice, they don't necessarily live it. There's a uh, dichotomy between what they teach and what they preach and how they live. Jesus is saying to them, woe to you, be careful, because what is going to happen is that you're going to get all of your rewards here on earth, and the reward in heaven is going to be bleak. Ultimately, I think in both, with Paul and Jesus, they are saying that we need to look at the Spirit guiding us in the ways that are God's. And when we do that, we're going to see and live those fruits. And when we do that, we're going to not only live the law, but we're going to live the Spirit of the law. And hopefully, we will then merit God's kingdom. I think put in our own lives, if someone was teaching to us um, these particular commands or teachings of Jesus, it would simply be put, what do we have in life that is not necessary, and what do we have in life that takes up time and space in which God should be in that time and space? Let us pray today that through this Eucharist, God gives us the insight 
and hopefully the zeal to wipe away all that is not necessary and that we may dwell on God's kingdom, living the fruits of the Spirit and putting into practice the laws of God. Let's pray for our Holy Father and all the bishops. May the Lord bless them, sustain them, and protect them from every evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For lawmakers and those running for public office, may God guide them with his love and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. <laughs> For all struggling with mental illness, may the Lord bless them with the help and support they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may God bless us with the eyes and heart of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, May they be brought to heavenly peace in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Almighty God, hear the prayers and petitions we have voiced and answer them in your mercy. We ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God We pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the laws of his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the blessed Virgin Margaret Mary, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Holy 
the Son and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O the Son and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Daniel our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Blessed Margaret Mary, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, we are an angel, we are the we are protection against the wickedness of the sinners of the devil. May God be with you when we pray. And do not open us to them in the by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, 